<laughs> oh, let's take a look at an art book. Oh, this is Glenn Fabry, sketchbook one. It's like a book of sketches of Glenn Fabry. Glenn, Glenda Fabrington. Glendosio Fabrino. Glean, glean the Fabry machine. Um, I think I've shown this briefly. I would have shown it in the video I made about Glenn Fabry. Glenn Fabry is my go-to favorite artist. Um, responsible for sort of how I paint and approach certain things. And I have this book of his. It's a nice little little book. He sells them at his cons and stuff. Uh, well, at cons when not his, his, his conventions specifically. Conventions that he's at. Um, but I thought we'd just have a little look through it because it's, it's good. And it's more recent work of his. It's, you know, a lot of the stuff I show is from the 90s, like early to mid 90s. Where this is sort of mid 2000s to early 2010 sort of years, 2013, 2007, those kinds. Of, you get it. Um, so there's some just stuff like this, which is it's cool. I don't know exactly what it is, what it's for, but it's fucking good. Um, there's some colour stuff, but largely black and white because it is mostly sketches. Um, Jesse Custer from Preacher. I'm sure you're all very aware of the guy reading a Spider-Man on a train comic. I like that. Um, stuff like this is why I love artists like Glenn Fabry. Um, a lot of comic book artists do it. They have a good sense of humour and they put silly little things like this in their drawings. Um, some of them don't, but some of them do. More Jesse. And I like that this book does have, like, that's obviously quite a rough kind of sketch. Um, still good, obviously. But then there's also more, more well-rendered pieces in there also, like this. That's quite a good one. I think a lot of these are, like, probably commissions maybe done at conventions so like quick sort of half hour to an hour sketches done for like i don't know 10 15 pound or whatever just probably this is roughly actual size as well more jesse oh happy birthday no oh, 2012 it's cool to see how his style of more recent years has gotten really, really like a lot cleaner and more refined. It's still obviously Glenn Fabry's work, if you know Glenn Fabry's work, but it's a lot, lot cleaner, uh, a lot more look curvy as well. There's all these curvy lines where he didn't used to do those a lot. Um, that's cool, like a zombie. Gold panning, old west zombie, saint of killers, one of the coolest comic book characters. Is really fire good. A chick, hi Dave. Oh, lucky Dave. <laughs> um, I I'm aware. That's cool. If I can, is it Chitara or whatever from Thundercats? Nips. Uh, a copy of, well, as it says, after Jay Hewlett's Get Knotted Tank Girl cover 1990. So that was originally drawn by Jamie Hewlett in that stance, exactly. But that's a Glenn Fabry version, which is quite cool. I like that. Obviously, I like that. What am I fucking saying? Um, but yeah, I'm aware Glenn Fabry of recent years had some health issues, maybe something to do with cancer maybe of the lungs i don't know the details but i've not seen or heard anything of him recently so i'm, I'm a little bit like i don't know if he's doing great or if he's i don't like i don't know I, there's not been any news come out about him and he's not like one of like the big big name artists so it's not like you know, if Ryan Otley or Scotty Young or someone, one of the current, like, big Marvel stars died or had serious complications from cancer or whatever, people would, you know, they'd be speaking about it, especially since those sorts of people, they're very active on social media, so I'm sure some sort of news would come out. But Glenn Fabry very much was not, and his Instagram that he did have, I think, is basically gone. If not deleted, then basically 
erased everything's gone from it last i checked um i think so i'm a little bit like worried in that respect um that's cool a couple of people looking at his drawings and they're all like dicks and fannies and mickey mouse blowing a penis judge dread we love some dread i've got a similar drawing to that by the man glenn fabry it's very cool um oh that's cool judge dread and judge death a little bit eh, with the the badge getting lost under the shoulder pad don't know quite what happened there but judge dread's got such an awkward fucking costume to draw so uh this shit bugs the hell out of me anyway batman and dread um and this is one thing I love Glenn Fabry's work. I will never, ever say anything bad about it. But I think this is where it's at a loss for certain superhero comics. Stuff like Preacher works perfectly because it's just people doing shit. When it comes to, like, Batman and stuff, you see, you know, Frank Miller, Jim Lee, those people do Batman, and he's, like, massive, muscly, bulky. And then Glenn Fabry's Batman looks a lot more sort of like Adam West, average, everyday guy, blue collar work a day batman which isn't bad because it's still good but it's just in comparison to you know the wild crazy dynamic you know even busley batman it looks really really toned down um in comparison that's a really cool like little process before and after i, I assume that was a commission of a portrait of somebody which is a really cool one of the lizard background's really nice as well um yeah i i if anyone knows anything of how glenn fabry's doing currently please do let me know um i haven't researched it a lot but i'm aware he had some issues and i've heard nothing from him so i'm i'm leaning towards you know worst case scenario but uh it'd be a shame if he had left us um, but then maybe all this shit would be worth a lot more money now. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Love that. Um, 2011. It was recent at the time because I got this in like 2013, I think. Um, so at the time that was recent. But now that's almost 10 years ago. So not so recent, I guess. Mm. Do love a Hulk though. I might try to get that blown up. Print it off. For my own use, of course, not to sell it, just to hang on my wall or something. Or I could just tear the page out and frame it. But I probably won't. And that's really, really cool as well. I love that. Hunchback. All the skin. Like all the fucking little blobs and wrinkles and creases and shit. That's what Glenn Vabry is really, really good at. All that shit. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Ugh. Little Spider-Man. Little chibi Spider-Man. And uh, not so chibi Spider-Man. And Sinister Six. We like that. Again, almost like all the proportions and stuff are too realistic. And then like for something like this, it feels like they should be more dynamic and crazy and wild. But it's a little bit too like, like it's a great painting. If I could paint that, I'd be more than happy. But I don't know. I guess that's good as a painting. But if that was a comic book cover, you'd want it to have a bit more sort of like crazy impact i guess no my two cents for what it isn't worth that's cool again superman looking a little bit he's obviously ridiculously muscly but he looks quite small especially in comparison to the armored batman a really nice preacher piece saint in the background i love how that's painted because you can see all the underpainting like the orangey brown underneath with just a couple of layers of paint pulling out the skin tones and stuff and then those are really cool but they do i think if you know i could show a contrast but i won't um if you know his style you know th these paintings look loads like cleaner and smoother than the ones he did for like the covers of preacher and stuff that's really nice a little bit gay, <laughs> two people kissing, having a snog. Um, but in terms of painting, that's really fucking nice as a painting. 
Let's cue all the purple sort of glow there under under lighting or whatever. Really cool. And that's cool to the saint. I've just been um I've been replaying Red Dead Redemption, the first one, and I rewatched uh, Deadwood, the series and the movie, which is mm, uh, so old western stuff is currently in my head and I may do something with that. So seeing the preach of pre pre preach preach priest preacher saint the saint of killers the priest of killers stupid the saint of killers is very sort of like oh yeah old west sort of guns and shit we like we like that um he did a bunch of covers for a series of comics it might have been called zombies or something else but it was about zombies um so that's really cool to see i fucking love zombies i was gonna do a video about zombies so i might still get to that um so seeing glenn fabry do zombies is really really cool Really, 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 really cool. 2008, quite some time ago, gosh. That's about when I was at uh, college, wow. Fucking wow! More zombies. That's good, man, that's fucking nice. That's real fucking nice. And that's gnarly. Gah. The glow, the rim lighting, really, really makes that pop. It's, it's quite subtle, but like, and just here, it's really good. And all the creases in the world on the jeans. Cool Tarzan. That's really cool uh, for a brewing company in the States. That'd be really cool if you own a brewing company and then you pay Glenn Fabry to do like a logo thing for you like that. That's really, really fucking nice. I like that a lot. We like chimps anyway. So especially when they're very well painted Fabry chimps. And that's the sketch obviously for the for the thing. A little bit of a loss to have them on either side of the same page. Because it would be cool to have like the sketch and the painting or vice versa. It's still cool that you can see it but it's like, you know, you have to keep doing this to uh, another sort of Tarzan, I guess. Or something. Batman! Jokesy joker. Uh, so I'm going to just name every character on every page. No, I won't. I can't even... Oh, fuck! Fuck! So yeah, I assume all of these are like if not at conventions, then just, hey, I'll give you some money, draw me this character because I like this character or whatever. Constantine. I like Constantine. That's cool. I like all the, like, demons around here and shit. That's really nice. More Constantine. And this is another one of the little, like, funny details I like. Smokey the Vagabond silk cut optional. <laughs> Just a funny little cigarette boy. Very cool Lobo. I love this as well. Just just sketches because it, obviously it's sketchbook, but a lot of it is just like you know, these probably are not done in a sketchbook. Um, but it's cool to see actual like sketchbook sketches. Little Hellboys. Funny demon with a dick. That's funny. Slain chopping a pig. That's cool. So portrait from the cover. Chimp. Nice little that. Ba 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 ba. That's really nice. Nice inking. Kids with guns. Like that gorilla's song. <gasps> Some chick. Some demon chick. Ooh. The lighting's great, man. The textures and stuff in the clothes. And these fucking, I don't know, wispy silk material. The hair and everything. God, God damn, damn him.
Whoa. The detail in that, all the maggots and shit. Skeletons and weird demons and things. That's cool. I don't know what these are from. There's a note there. Lot 13, number three, page eight, art by Glenn Fabry. Um, I assume it's like a comic called Lot 13 or something. I don't know. I've not really looked into it. I probably should do that. I should look into these things. Um, some wicked art. Wicked. That's a current term the kids are using. Bugs and shit. That's really, really nice. I'd love to see that coloured. I don't know if it got coloured. Like I say, I'll have to look into it. Lot 13. Let's research that. That's pretty badass. Very cool. Zombies. More zombies. Zombie, zombie, bombies. Spawn. Cool. In the back. Yeah, man. Glenn Fabry. Hope he's okay. Um, 